Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com. You may find us on YouTube at CSET Biology. Get help with CSET Biology SBA Labs and Human and Social Biology SBA Labs at tcp-academy.teachable.com. Tim had questions. He wanted to know where he could get help his SPA labs. His parents searched but could not find that experience. Tim also made some calls however could not find the help he needed. Tim needed an experience he could trust to help him get over the hurdle of SBAs as success was in sight. He met the guys from tcp-academy.teachable.com and they designed a program to help him. tcp-academy.teachable.com was able to help him. So too, they can help you. Sign up tcp-academy.teachable.com for help with your SBAs in biology and human and social biology. Today we're going to be looking at 12 words that commonly appear on the CXC paper. Hence, these are words that you need to know in order to ace your CSEC exams. So first word we're going to look at account for. When this word appears, you are expected to present reason for action or event. And here you're being tested on your use of knowledge. So it means that you would have had to study and have that information for that information to be tested. Annotate, popularly used with or commonly used with diagrams. You're supposed to have a brief note to a label, simple phrase or a few words only. So you really don't want to write a paragraph here. This is pretty much looking at knowledge and comprehension. What do you understand? Uh, of what is asked of you. Apply, use knowledge of principles to solve a problem. Again, you would have had to have this knowledge in order to apply it. You're going to make inference and conclusion here, and you're tested here for use of knowledge. Assess, present reasons for the importance of particular structure, relationship, or process. You're expected to compare the advantages and disadvantages or the merits and demerits of a particular structure, relationship, or process. And again, you are tested for use of knowledge. Calculate. Arrive at the solution to a numerical problem. Steps should be shown. Unit must be included. So if you're calculating the sum of 10 numbers, you want to show that plus sign between to show the calculation. And if you're using units, gram, kilogram, meter, liter, the unit must be represented. You want to see one of my video on measurement and manipulation to ensure that you understand how this should be used in your table. Classify, divide into groups according to observable characteristics. And this again is use of knowledge. Things could be classified based on similarities or differences. I know for most cases, persons are classifying things based on similarities. When we look at all the girls using a bathroom, then that is classification based on similarity. When we look at the boys using a bathroom versus a girl using another bathroom, then that is classification based on differences. When we look at comment, you're supposed to state opinion or few with supporting reasons. Again, this is going to be use of knowledge. So you are commenting, and when you are commenting, you want to ensure 
that the information that you are presenting, though it is an opinion, you need to make sure that it is somewhat grounded in scientific fact or social fact, depending on the problem, or environmental fact based on the problem that you're looking at. You could even look at economical fact. These are three things that we look at when we are doing the sciences. Compare. What do we do when we see the word compare? Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Compare, you're supposed to state similarities and differences. What's the expectation? An explanation of the significance of each similarity and difference stated may be required for comparison, which are other than structural. So you are looking not only at the makeup when we talk about uh, comparing, you're giving us uh, probably function, right? It's just more than just a structural design. Now, there are cases where you're looking at the differences comparing the xylem versus phloem. And here you'll be looking at structural and functional difference. We could look at male and female organs. We could look at cells, plant cell, animal cell. We could look at mitosis and meiosis, and we could compare there, right? So it's not only about the structural when we are comparing. We move on to construct. What do we do when we see the word construct? Use a scientific format to make and draw a graph, histogram, pie chart, or other representation using data or material provided or draw from practical investigation. Build, for example, a model. Draw scale diagram. So construct any one of these drawing things, whether you're looking at a graph, the histogram, the charts, uh, the table, your drawing, making a model, uh, all those uh, you pretty much fall, find pretty much in this group of things that we construct. Uh, such representation should be a title, appropriate heading, and legend. Use of knowledge, and this is commonly seen with experimental skill. So normally bear a title, they should have a title, and the title should be a descriptive title of whatever it represents. It should also have headings. If you're looking at a table, the table has a title, however, it has headings. If you're looking at a graph, it has a title, but it also has heading for each axis, be it the x-axis and the y-axis, they also have names. You might have keys, or you might have, of course, scale, a legend, depending on what you're looking at. These are also to be included depending on which of these you are constructing. Deduce. Make a logical connection between two or more pieces of information. Use data to arrive at conclusion. All these words are from the CXC uh, syllabus. These are pretty much in line with your exams. These are just 12 of the words that you need to know you want to follow as we look at the other words. And please be reminded to drop me a comment, like, and of course share so that we can talk more about these words and find examples in which the words are used. Define, state concisely the meaning of a word or term. What is expected? This should include the definition, equation, or formula where relevant. So we can think about photosynthesis here. Demonstrate. You are going to show what you know. All right? Show direct attention to whatever you are doing. So you probably want to demonstrate how we use the measuring cylinder. You probably want to demonstrate how do we go about finding the temperature uh, correctly. Any one of those measurement and manipulation skill demonstration would pretty much be a good choice of word. Until next time, 
I am Mr. Wilson from CSEC Biologic TCP. Please be reminded you can enroll now for classes for September, or you might enroll now for classes if you're doing the January exam. I must also invite you to our biology and human and social biology marathon. Thanks for joining. See you around.